Director Fede Alvarez seems to have a knack for putting young folks through some serious challenges in his past films like Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. Now, with Alien Romulus on the horizon, it seems he's sticking to that same formula. The Hollywood Reporter spilled the beans that this new installment is going to be all about a gang of youngsters, rather than the usual adults in suits or lab coats. Picture this, a bunch of 20-somethings facing off against the infamous xenomorph on some far-flung colony. It's like a sleepover turned nightmare, except these characters are more like scavengers than typical horror movie victims. And get this, apparently the idea to focus on young guns like this came from a deleted scene in Aliens where James Cameron hinted at kids living in the settlement. According to its official logline, the upcoming sci-fi horror thriller is taking the iconic Alien series right back to its origins. While exploring the depths of a deserted space station, a group of young pioneers from outer space find themselves staring down the most spine-chilling creature in the galaxy. The movie is set to feature Kaylee Spenny, fresh from her success in Priscilla and gearing up for Alex Garland's Civil War, along with David Johnson, known for industry, Archie Renault from Shadow and Bone, Spike Fearn joining from The Batman, Eileen Wu coming from Away From Home, and Isabella Merced stepping into Rosaline. According to Buzz from recent test screenings, Spenny is expected to take the lead as a Ripley-like character, while Johnson will play her android sibling. Sources also suggest that our adventurous scavengers stumble upon extraterrestrial trouble while exploring an abandoned Wayland yutani research station named Romulus. Brace yourselves, because reports indicate this film will ramp up the terror with some seriously gruesome scenes, including facehuggers equipped with sharp spikes on their fingers, dialing the horror up to 11. Beside that, let's break down what's been happening in the world of Alien Romulus. After the release of Alien Covenant in 2017, things were up in the air for the franchise. While the film didn't quite hit the mark with fans or critics, it still made some decent cash at the box office, leaving director Ridley Scott eager to continue the story with a direct sequel. That could have been one route to take. On the other hand, there was this buzz about reviving Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5 project, a fan-favorite idea that would have brought back Sigourney Weaver as the legendary Ripley and offered a different fate for Michael Biehn's Hicks character from Aliens. Blomkamp had some solid support behind his concept, including from Weaver and Biehn themselves, but it got shelved because Scott was more focused on his own prequel trilogy. Speaking of which, another filmmaker in the mix was Walter Hill, a longtime producer on the Alien series. He teamed up with fellow producer David Geiler to pen a hefty 50-page treatment for their own Alien 5, but somehow it didn't catch on. So, fast forward to now, and we've got Fede Alvarez stepping up to the plate with Alien Romulus. He's managed to beat out some stiff competition from heavyweights like Scott, Blomkamp, and Hill to get this version of the Alien universe off the ground. It's shaping up to be quite the ride. I mean, Fede Alvarez's pitch really caught Ridley Scott's attention. Scott, who's producing the film, tentatively titled Alien Romulus, was evidently impressed by Alvarez's idea for a fresh take on the Alien universe. It seems Alvarez had shared his concept with Scott years ago, and it stuck with him. Then, in 2021, Scott reached out to Alvarez and asked if he was still game to bring that vision to life. Of course, Alvarez was all in. According to 20th Century Studios president Steve Asbell, they decided to greenlight the project based solely on the strength of Alvarez's pitch. It seems like they're banking on it being a killer story with a whole bunch of new characters that fans haven't seen before. With that, let me give you the lowdown on the connection, or lack thereof, to other Alien films and where Alien Romulus fits into the timeline. First things first, it seems like Fede Alvarez and his writing partner Rodo Sayagues are crafting a story for Alien Romulus that stands on its own two feet. According to sources, their script doesn't have any direct ties to the previous Alien movies, except for the fact that our favorite Xenomorph is making an appearance. So, don't hold your breath for any shout-outs to Ripley's adventures or nods to the Predator crossovers. 
However, Alvarez has made it clear that the film still exists within the same universe we're familiar with from the other movies. It's like it's carving out its own space without stepping on anyone else's toes. Now, as for where this new adventure fits into the timeline, it's sandwiched between the events of the original Alien and its sequel, Aliens. Kaylee Spenny teased to Variety that the film is meant to slot in between those two iconic movies, but she couldn't spill the beans on the specifics of how or why it fits in there. Now, unlike last year's Predator movie Prey, which skipped theaters, Alien Romulus is hitting the big screen with a theatrical release slated for August 16, 2024. The studio's decision to go theatrical follows the success of previous releases like Barbarian and The Boogeyman. Many believe that Prey might have been a box office hit if it had gone the theatrical route, as there's something special about experiencing scary movies in a dark theater, especially when it comes to the Alien franchise. As for the rating, despite featuring a young cast, Alien Romulus is expected to secure an R rating. Isabella Merced, while promoting Madame Webb, hinted at a scene so gross that it made everyone turn away. What exactly happens? Well, the rumor mill suggests it involves a classic xenomorph chestburster making a surprise appearance, from somewhere unexpected. That's as far as the details go for now. According to Fede Alvarez, Ridley Scott has already seen the final cut of Alien Romulus and gave it a glowing review, describing it as effing great. Alvarez also revealed that he received feedback from both Scott and James Cameron, the director of Aliens, while crafting his own take on the Alien universe. Now, before I say goodbye to you, let me tell you why Disney's new Alien movie can answer franchise mysteries one Alien Romulus could reinvigorate the series and Disney's alien success might revive other projects. Absolutely, it's clear that Alien Romulus has the potential to breathe new life into the Alien franchise and even address some lingering mysteries from earlier films. While the movie is set to embark on its own narrative journey, it doesn't mean it can't subtly nod to the past. References to characters like David the Android and Ripley's clone from Alien Resurrection could add depth to the storyline without overshadowing the new cast of characters. By reigniting interest in the Alien universe, Alien Romulus could rejuvenate the entire franchise. After the lukewarm reception of Alien Covenant, fans might be eager for a fresh take on the series. This renewed enthusiasm could extend beyond the big screen, potentially boosting other projects like Noah Hawley's Alien TV series and the upcoming Alien vs. Predator anime. Ultimately, Alien Romulus has the opportunity to remind audiences why they fell in love with the Xenomorphs in the first place, potentially leading to a resurgence of interest in the entire franchise. Now there is another exciting news for Alien fans. While Alien Romulus gears up for its theatrical debut, there's more Xenomorph action headed our way on the small screen. Noah Hawley, the mastermind behind Fargo, is cooking up an Alien TV series for Hulu, this time, the action unfolds right here on Earth, set roughly 70 years from now. But here's the twist. The series won't feature any familiar faces from the movies. Instead, it's carving out its own path, although the notorious Wayland yutani Corporation will still be stirring up trouble. As for a release date, it's still up in the air, but chances are we'll only get to binge watch it after Alien Romulus hits theaters. Thanks for tuning in today. Are you ready to delve back into the terrifying world of Xenomorphs? What are your thoughts on Fede Alvarez's approach to bringing horror back to the franchise? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share your views, and subscribe to stay updated on all things Alien. And remember to hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest updates. Until next time, may the stars shine brightly in your favor. Oh, <laughs>